Blessings. I am the Reverend Douglas Taylor, and I welcome you to another episode of Digging Deeper with Reverend Douglas. In each episode, I respond to a question that has come to me, uh, either from a member of the congregation I serve or from somebody who's here watching these episodes online. You can reach me at dtaylor at uubinghamton.org. Today's question is... Uh, is hell real? So, you know, the obvious answer I'm going to say is no, because I'm a Unitarian Universalist. Uh, universalism is that statement that um, all souls will be reunited with God in the end, universal salvation, that God's love is bigger than any other thing that's going on, and God will gather all of the uh, the, of humanity uh, at the end. So, yes, uh, I believe, uh, or I mean, no, there is no hell. Yes, I believe in universal salvation. So here's the thing, though. <clears throat> I also don't believe in hell from that set, that image that most people concoct of what hell would be like um, because of science. You know, we've we've explored the earth. We know what's underneath. There is no underworld. There is it's it's molten rock down there. Uh, the pressure would be immense. I mean, it's it's not scientifically possible for there to be a hell on this earth or in this earth. So that kind of a like a physical location of either heaven or hell is un isn't just it that doesn't. And I don't think that that's what the original concepts were intended to be either. Uh, but for some reason, we've cooked up this idea that hell is in the middle of the earth and heaven is somewhere up in the sky, which is kind of absurd when you know enough about science. Now, there is a reality in which that's not what was meant by heaven and hell, that those are states of being that uh, uh, when you're dead, you're, you're not in the physics uh, reality, you're somewhere else. Um, so to take it into a supernatural perspective, um, I would still continue to say, no, there is no such thing as hell because uh, in that construction, which comes out of the Christian theology, you know, Jewish theology doesn't really have hell. Buddhism doesn't talk about hell. It's, it's a Christian theology that it's about a punishment. It's about you've done terrible things in this life and you're being punished for it. So uh, I don't think that there's that level of benefit and reward or punishment and suffering that happens because of our behaviors. I think our, beha our morality is about now. It's about who we are and how we're living now. And so I'm I'm inclined to lean into an idea of hell in which that is the experience that we have when we are disconnected from God, that hell is the experience of we've done something wrong and we know we've done something wrong and we feel terrible about it, that, that that's the experience that we call hell. And that's kind of a metaphorical, it's a feeling. It's not a lived reality. Although I will confess that there are some people who can talk about what it's like to be as if in a living hell. Um, it's difficult. Uh, I'm not trying to diminish that. What I'm trying to say is that it's not constructed by God as a punishment. So, uh, I'm sure there's folks out there who still believe that hell exists and is real and that we can have a, a, a vigorous debate about it, but I come down on just about every way uh, to imagine hell as no, there is no such thing. It doesn't, it's not real. This has been Digging Deeper with Reverend Douglas. Thank you uh, and blessings.